Your perspective determines how you create in your life. It wasn't about the how to do it. It wasn't about the strategies or the techniques or anything like that. And you know there's still more. Not more to get, not more to gain, but there's more to to unfold. How we allow ourselves to choose the expectations of the roles we play over the inspiration of our soul and our soul's desires. And a lot of times, most people think that their expectation dictate how they see things. But really, your perspective determines what your expectations will be and how you create the life that you live. Thanks for choosing the Finally Be Podcast, your reminder to give yourself permission to embrace the divine disruptions. Open up your intuitive knowing and choose the life you really want. I'm Marcy Grayson, and I'll be on this journey with you, sharing ways to elevate your awareness by living from your wholeness. This is your moment to choose your true you and finally be. I was thinking about this because something came up. I was talking to a friend the other day. And the one thing that I really looked at was how I was looking at things. When years ago, when I started to really decide that I'm going to have a business, that I was going to have a family, that my life was going to be different. How I was going to feel was going to be different. I wasn't going to be depressed anymore. All of these different things. It wasn't about the how to do it. It wasn't about the strategies or the techniques or anything like that. It was about how I saw my life, how I saw the things around me. And a lot of times, most people think that their expectations dictate how they see things but really your perspective determines what your expectations will be and how you create the life that you live um uh, I was talking to a girlfriend about this this was so interesting because we were talking about how roles play such a big part in our, in our lives and we can have everything. We can check up all the boxes. We can have the family because I did the family thing. I did it the right way. You know, <laughs> uh, we can have the whole I went to school and I did the, the school thing and I, I got my degrees and I got all of the different things that I'm supposed to have. I got the career lined up and I'm working the jobs I'm supposed to work. I've, I've had the children I'm supposed to have. Um, I got the house I'm supposed to be living in. and I did all the things, but there's something that's inside of me that keeps saying there's more to me. There's more to do. There's more to be. And I started to think about that. Like my girlfriend was saying, she was like, yes, it's not that you're unhappy. Because most people I talk to are not unhappy. They're probably living the best version of the life they've ever lived before. But they know there's still more. Not more to get, not more to gain, but there's more of them to unfold. And so I really started to think about that, how we allow ourselves to choose the expectations of the roles we play over the inspiration of my soul and my soul's desires. And when we do that, we cause this thing that we we raise our hand to say, I agree, and I can't change my mind to these things. And I love being a mom. I love being able to have a career and be able to work and be able to provide for my family. I love being able to step out on the things that I want to step out on. But I also know there are visions that I don't always step out on. That's something I hear a lot. There's things that I know I want to do but I feel pulled by the expectations of the roles I'm already playing that I cannot continue to do those things. 
or I can't put my full energy into those things. And the thing is, we, we're told all the time how much potential we have. You know, how many people, I mean, maybe it's just me, but how many people are told all the time that you have potential to do this, you have potential to be that, or you have potential to make this type of money. And when you think of that word potential, you think about the things like, oh, that's possibilities. This is something that I heard somebody say. It's the possibilities in the future that I can't have right now. But that's not even the real definition of potential because we're energy. We're energy beings. We're having an experience that allows us to create within the realm of what we have access to. And potential and energy means that everything, all the qualities that you possibly will have or have or need or anything is already there. And what, and the only thing that has to happen is a change in your perspective in order to recognize the access that you already have. You don't even have to, make a real shift in anything else. It's just a change in your perspective and how you observe your life. What is what creates the access to what you already have available to you. And I started to like really sit down and think about, I've been living my life and this idea that I have all this potential. I have all these things that are more inside of me. I have all these things and I'm using that energy to play these roles that I play and I love the roles that I play I signed up for them I chose them but I know that I know that I know who I am is not just this and it's okay to be this it's okay to live like this but I know I'm not living and showing up fully for myself and so if I'm not showing up fully for myself my life is not a reflection of what I know I have potential to have in my grasp. And I was talking to, I'd have a lot of conversations with a lot of different people. And the one thing that I realized that I was talking to somebody about was that we don't recognize what we have access to. We don't recognize what's available to us because we oftentimes sit there and and we believe that we're drained and we don't have enough to go after certain things we don't have enough to acknowledge other things we don't have enough to see what is available to us so we sit there and we consume what's around us you know and that's what we do that's what that's how we function a lot of time we function out of this idea of okay this is available to me so I'm going to consume this you know that's what we do you know like if anybody know about trying to lose some weight (laughs) or trying to make something happen for yourself if it's not if something is right there and you're hungry you're gonna reach for that so I start telling myself why don't I put things that I want available to me in reach So when I do reach for something, when I do want to consume something, it's right there. (laughs) I don't have to go too far because it's right there. I put it in front of me. I allow myself to see it. I allow myself to interact with it. I allow myself to be present with it. So it's not something that I think I have potential for, you know, in that old definition of potential. I decided to dissolve that meaning and recognize that I'm energy and I can allow myself to to have whatever I need in that moment. If people are going on this journey with me and you want to go a little deeper, the one question that I'm asking myself right now is where is my energy going? What gives me what gives me energy? What what gives me joy? What lights me up every day? What allows me to to know that these things are available to me? What what helps remind me that I can see things and observe things different and allow me to have access to stuff 
that I didn't know I had access, that I didn't acknowledge that I had access to. And so, because most people will sit there and we'll just sit in the potential. We'll sit there because we think it's something that it has to be developed. It has to come later. But what I do know, what I have learned is that we can create from what we have. And guess what? Because we're connected to source, because we're connected to God, because we're connected to the universe, because we're connected and we're all one, we have access to all of it. So anyway, I just wanted to jump on and say a little bit about that because having these conversations about what we allow in our life and what we don't allow in our life, having these conversations about what we have potential for and we don't allow ourselves to to set ourselves up to win is something that I'm going to keep talking about. You know, I, I talk it all. I talk about it all the time. Living from your wholeness and living from your wholeness meant positioned in your power to be a, to knowing and acknowledging the fullness of who you are. You know, to finally be and allow yourself to create the life that you really want for yourself. And in order to do that, perspective is key. So how you observe your life is going to be how you create your life. I really enjoyed today's episode. And if you did too and know somebody that would benefit from listening to this podcast, please share. I love connecting with new people. And remember to choose your true you. Start living from your wholeness because you're the key to the life you really want. This is the Finally Be Podcast. Blessings of light, love, and effortless joy. See you next time.